Hello, welcome to all in this SAP tutorial. In today's tutorial, this is a very conceptual tutorial for training and understanding purpose only. Okay. How can we get the regard, uh, uh, data of sale of scrap revenue in SAP? Okay. So we will uh, extract the data step by step. You can see how can we extract the data. For example, if in my company, a GL of sale of scrap is 4910102. In your company, maybe it will be different GL code. Okay. <clears throat> so go in account, go in accounting. Okay. See, we have uh, uh, two options to execute the transaction. Okay. First, you can go in the accounting, go in the financial accounting, go in the general laser, go in the account and click on this. So this is the SAP menu path. If you don't know the uh, SAP transaction code, go in the accounting, go in the financial accounting. Okay. And uh, go in the general laser. Go in the account, go in the account. This display balances. Okay. One option is here, you can click directly here and go in this tab. Okay. And the second option is there. Second option is there. You can execute the transaction code. You can execute the transaction code in directly in the command window if you directly know the uh, transaction code. Okay. The same. Okay. <coughs> For example, if in my case, uh, the general result uh, for the sale of scrap revenue is 4910102. Okay. 4910102. Fine. And uh, company code is uh, 1100. We have filled the company code 1100 in my case. In your case, it will be different company code. Okay. And uh, fiscal year, I'm just want to get the regard of the sale of scrap of revenue for the 2020 financial year. If you want to get the regard of the sale of scrap revenue for the 2021 financial year, you can fill 2020. And if you want to get the regard of 2019 financial year, you can fill here 2019. Fine. And again, what you can do? Then uh, fill the your company GL code in account number, company code, fiscal year. Then go in the dynamic selection. Go in the dynamic selection. I'm just going in the dynamic selection. Here you can fill your business area code for which you want to get the sale of scrap record. For example, if uh, I have single business area, then we can fill here 3002 is our business area. And uh, if I just want to get the sale of scrap revenue record, for uh, more than one business area, then if if we have nine business area, then we can fill here 3001 to 3009. Okay. Hope you understand. And if you want to fill three business area, then you can fill here uh, three business area or the range, something like that. Okay. If you want to <coughs> Uh, fill the particular customer record uh, then customer sale then you can fill in the trading partner but I'm not going to fill the trading partner trading partner is your customer okay I'm just just filling the business area code 3002 for which I just want to get the sale of scrap revenue record okay then uh, get saved the, click on the save okay in the dynamic selection click on the save and then you need to execute the transaction code. Execute the transaction code. Fine. I'm just executing the transaction code. Okay. See, uh, the financial is start in the April, and uh, in April there is a balance. Is the credit balance is here? Okay. And <clears throat> then some entries in the August month. Some entries in the September month. So in the first quarter is April, May, June, July. April, May, June, July. 
okay in the first quarter the balance is 14200 for the whole in the whole financial year the balance is 14200 if you want to get the record of for example this month is going in the uh, december or uh, january then you can uh, click on the january cumulative balance if you want to get the regard of the september then uh, till the september from april to september how much revenue is generated then click on the cumulative balance column and here okay if you want to get the regard of whole financial year then <coughs> you can click on the total if the financial year is successfully completed march is completed a special period 1 2 3 4 is completed then you can click on the till which date you want to get the data of sale of scrap revenue then you can click on the cumulative balance once we click on the cumulative balance for example i just want to get the data from the till the april to september then here you can click on the uh, cumulative balance you will get the detailed record okay see this is the this is the <coughs> whole report okay get the list get the report click on the month community balance data get the list apply filter on the document type rv okay we have a document type rv all the documents are rv if more than one document type because rv is the billing document transfer we we just uh, sell uh, scrap to customer then we have to done billing in the sap then that record will be fetching here and uh, <clears throat> okay did ex extract the list apply pivot for more than one ba record uh, if you have uh, first apply rv fit in the filter then <clears throat> extract the list in the excel apply pivot table for more than one ba record okay see <clears throat> you can go <clears throat> this is your billing document this is your invoice number Nine three four two one zero four eight is your billing document invoice number. Okay, <clears throat> you you can um, uh, select this column document type and click on this filter. If you have more than one document type, then uh, you can apply the filter here. Okay, you can apply the filter. Then only RV document will be available here. Okay, and <clears throat> for example, if you just want to get the record of uh, this. Uh, <coughs> invoice then you can click on this <coughs> for example i'm just want to get the record of this this document then you can click on the display and uh, you can uh, click on the column document overview you can see this entry okay <coughs> this uh, customer this is the customer code jk enterprises customer customer is debit and your sale of scrap account is uh, credit and inter gst payable gl is credit okay so the, the here the way you can uh, see the way okay s means debit c s means debit your J, uh, customer is debit with the same amount s h means credit minus entry is credit and uh, igst payable is uh, debit okay Uh, credit okay so these both gl are credit <coughs> and uh, one gl customer is debit customer has given some amount na that's why it's debit okay <coughs> and sale of scrap revenue we have posted some revenue in this account so this is the credit gl okay igst payable we have credit gl fine so this is the way how can you check the entry okay and uh, now i'm just going to record in the excel format so this is the spreadsheet click on the excel in the mstml format uh sale of scrap 2020 september 3002 fine i'm just clicking on this uh, documents okay click on the allow
click on the allow <coughs> system will generate the record in the dot mstml file you can save in the excel format okay okay see uh, you can uh, save this record in the excel format okay okay excel verb then you can get the analysis okay for my case this is the uh, this is the rec uh, minus entries are the just credit entry so these are the actual revenue 14 to 00 for the, from april to month of the september for this business area if you have more than one business area then you can apply the pivot table and do the cumulative sum Hope you understand this process. How can you get the uh, record of uh, sale of scrap revenue in SAP? If you are new in our YouTube channel, ERP SAP team, please subscribe our YouTube channel for latest SAP video updates. Please share this knowledge with your colleagues and friends who will also benefit it with this SAP free knowledge. Okay, and <coughs> knowledge sharing is gearing because knowledge sharing is very important okay and if you think really think that this is useful sap tutorial for you then you can just give a like button because once you press hit a like button then it will give us motivation to create more and more conceptual video for you okay and if you have any query on your mind then please mention in the comment section or reach us at ERP SAP team one at the rate gmail.com. Thank you. Have a nice video. Have a nice day. See you in the next video. Thank you.